hours spent in a cell. I mean, what do you do? I just needed something that calms me down. It helps me sit. Because if I don't, I'm pacing up and down. I'm trying to do 10 things in the cell at once. These have all been hand-stitched in cell, and then it's something that we then finish up here in the hub. The final push to get them ready. We've commissioned work for the Royal Family. It's had a really positive impact in terms of helping those prisoners to rebuild their lives. Some people get stressed when they're banged up. It's helped me a lot because it's helped me put in perspective why I'm so angry when I'm angry and bored. Here, it just disoccupies your mind. So I can just stitch for weekends, like go from Friday o'clock past five till 12 o'clock, seven hours stitching. But that, that's really fantastic, Sean. Absolutely brilliant. I wasn't going to bring him in, but give me some. Of course, you've got to bring it in. You've got to show us what you do. Fine Cell started eight years ago and when we walked in the door we were met with ten men <laughs> who were sitting there and they were obviously there because they'd been told that they had to come for this new group and it would be good for them and none of them had done any stitching at all. Quite a lot of them will come because they think it's easy money and you know they can just do a bit of sewing and then they do realise that actually it is very time consuming. So some of those who just think it's easy money go but other ones who persevere with it, they then quite get hooked on the therapeutic value of it. You are the man to do it because you're up to it. Yeah, you're really good, you're really good. What they will say is things like, my mum would not believe that I'm sewing. I don't think within this prison that anybody has ever made a joke of anybody being a stitcher. I think they're quite envious of them, actually. I was a bit reluctant at first, doing fine, so I get the mystery took out of me, but I haven't, you know what I mean? So I come up, signed up, and I enjoyed it. And I've been doing it ever since. I quite enjoyed doing every single one of them. Christmas ones, normal ones, pin cushions, glasses, cases. I've enjoyed them. That's got to be my best one, but that, because that's my personal one. We've definitely seen them getting proud of their work and they start off um, in, the, in the very beginning doing very simple kits and then they progress through the graduation of the kits when they start doing the hardest kit. I mean, they're immensely proud of it. it it's very, they're very difficult to do. And I think that, that that is amazing to think that a stitcher who a few months ago couldn't even thread a needle is actually producing something that somebody chooses to have in their home and look at every day. The most frustrating one I've done is that one. Uh, this is the one where I've had to unpick all this on this side because I made a mistake up here somewhere. But I learned that if you make a mistake, it's, it's all right to make a mistake as long as you can rectify it at the end. So we have two main bodies of work, the in-prison work, but also the workshop in Battersea, where we work with ex-prisoners who take the kits after prison to create the pieces, to package the pieces and make them ready to sell. We've commissioned work for the Royal Family, Kath Kitson. So a lot of the work is being seen in some incredible places, as well as homes up and down the country. This is our post-release workshop. We've been in this space for nearly six years now. We do all sorts of projects here, so we work on production, we work on large-scale commissions. So today in the workshop we've got some kneelers that we're working on. And we've had eight of these in total, so this is the, the final push to get them ready. These have all been hand-stitched in cell, and then it's something that we then finish up here in the hub. At any one time, there'll be somewhere between four and five prisoners or prison leavers who've had their hands on the work. For apprentices that have worked in our programme, we've seen a reoffending rate of only 2%. It's had a really positive impact in terms of helping those ex-prisoners to um, rebuild their lives. I've had cards off people who buy me stuff, and it's a little bit warmth that puts back inside you. Some people do it for money. I did it because I wanted to learn something new and teach people and carry on when I get out.